Hi all, welcome to Heights to Fly. Welcome to the new session that is part 2 of Python. Today's class we are discussing about keywords, statements, comments and some data types in Python. In previous class we discussed about variables and some important features of Python programming language. In this session we are discussing about keywords, statements, comments and data types. As a preview, I am telling about some tips about previous class. That is in previous class in programming we discussed about variables. Variables are containers for storage of data values. They are case sensitive also that is capital A and small a are identified differently. And some important features and how to declare a variable all others are mentioned in previous session. Today we are discussing about keywords. Every programming language has a set of keywords that cannot be used as variable names or identifiers. In our general language, in our common language like English or any other language, there are some uh, many words that we can't use for another purpose. Like consider a word which is uh, which or what. We can't use it as a name. We uh, regularly use name as identified words that is variables and identifiers that is like our names and uh, keywords are words which have specific meaning in a language like that it is a reserved word keywords are reserved words they are predefined words to the compiler they are predefined words to the compiler it is a word that is reserved by a program because the word has a special meaning it has a special meaning it cannot use as a variable name or identifier or function name because it can use only for a specific purpose for example in our general language outside the python in our uh, regular language or uh, natural language which what uh, other words like like are uh, have some specific meaning we can't use it for any special purpose like uh, as a variable or any other for naming purpose we can't use it similarly keywords are reserved words they are have predefined the meaning which is given to the compiler keywords are case sensitive also case sensitive means we have to specifically uh, give if it is uh, in a small letter we have to give it in small letter uh, I am given here some examples if elif else break continue for all these are in small letters there are many keywords uh, and I specified uh, some of the them here if elif else break continue for these words have specific meaning in the Python language and the keywords are true false none here true false none have capital letters at the starting we have to specify like this in the program also because they are case sensitive keywords are case sensitive and uh, statements statements is a command that the programmer gives to the computer to do a specific job we have to specify what the compiler have to do so statement is a command that the programmer gives to the compiler it instructs that a python interpreter that it can execute are called py statements instructions that a python interpreter can execute are called statements it have specific syntax or it have some specific rules like the, uh, the statement have to follow these specific rules if it want to compile it for example i'm specifying two statements x is equal to 1 and print x we know x is a variable and uh, x is case sensitive also i mentioned here capital x which is equal to 1 print x then print x the value 1 which is an integer get printed print in the win 2 
and that is a statement this is an example for statements next multi line statements we can if uh, the statement is lengthy we can specify it in multi lines we can use character slash forward slash uh, sorry uh, in the example i given is correctly x is equal to i have to give a value 1 plus 3 plus 8 plus 6 plus 9 plus 3 okay it's a lengthy statement so i divide it into two and to identify it is a continuation i give a forward slash the compiler will gives the result as 1 plus 3 plus 8 plus 6 plus 9 plus 3 and it is assigned to x another method in addition to forward slash another method is using brackets that is include the statements that branches into multi lines include that statements within the brackets and the method is curly brackets and another method is square brackets these methods can be used to specify multi line statements statements are commands that a programmer gives to the compiler a collection of statements are called program next commands it is a programmer readable explanation that it is not a statement that is the compiler can't execute it it is used by the programmer uh, to understand what is going on the program to understand easily what is going on the program makes the source code it makes the source code easier it describes what is going on inside a program what is going on inside a program to identify or to specify it is a command we have to specify a hash hash symbol at the starting of the command hash symbol is used for example in the statement printx after that i specified hash print value of x that is when you, um, we use the program uh, we can identify the print text statements prints the value of x okay that is it is specifies the what is going on inside a program it's a simple command hash print value of x we can specify multi line commands like which branches into multiple lines we can specify it easily in the following format another topic is data types data types are declarations for variables the type and size of data once again are declarations for variables that is a specific variable it falls under which category it can be string it can be number it can be any other type uh, like uh, strings or characters like that it determines the type and size of data associated with variables it determines the size and the type of data if it is an integer it identifies it as integer and how how much length it can follow like that every value in python that we use if we we use any value in python it has a data type without giving a data type or without Uh, mentioning the data type or without uh, without the consideration of data data type we can't use any types in the python program the included data types are numbers list tuples strings set and dictionary these are the important data types in python numbers list tuples strings set and dictionary Let's go to the first data type numbers. Python numbers category includes int, float, complex, integer, floating value, complex numbers. I'm mentioning first an integer value a is equal to five. That is five is an integer type, and the value is assigned to the variable a. In previous class, we discussed what is a variable, how the memory location is assigned when we initialize or declaring a value, how what are the different methods to specify a variable. We can do the similar 
statement like a is equal to int of 5 we are explicitly specifying 5 is of type int otherwise if i am mentioning a is equal to float of 5 the value assigned to will be 5.0 that is if i am assigning a is equal to float of 5 the value a will be 5.0 i am explicitly specifying the value 5 is of type float next i am assigning a value 5.0 to the variable x and in the next line i am assigning a complex value 1 plus 3j to the variable y these are the normal methods to specify the types of numbers in python next data type is list it is one of the important data type it is an ordered sequence of item list is an ordered sequence of items in list items are separated by commas and are enclosed in square brackets the items are separated by commas and are list list members are enclosed in square brackets consider the example a is equal to one three five eight in previous case or in numbers data type we saw a is equal to five a single value is assigned to a here a list of values are getting assigned to a and this is known as list data type next another statement is x is equal to 1 3.5 and python three types of values are assigning to s x all the data items in a list do not need to be of the same type that is we can't uh, we can include any types of data within a list for example 1 3.5 python 1 is an integer value 3.5 is a float value and python is a string value these different types of data are mentioned within a list and it is assigned to variable x okay to access these values we can use index 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 can be specified in index can be specified in square brackets square brackets in list the members are included in square brackets and to access these values we can also use square brackets okay learn how it is accessed consider the list x is equal to 5 6 8 10 and 12 okay x of 1 where I want to access the value first first value that is x of 1 previously I told an index starts at 0 that is the 5 the member variable 5 have the element 5 have an index 0 that is x of 0 means it is 5 x of 1 means it is 6 that is 1 incremented x of 0 5 x of 1 6 x of 2 8 x of 3 10 and x of 4 12 i am accessing the value x of 1 which one is the x of 1 we know 5 is x of 0 6 is x of 1 so it uh, prints a value or it gives a value 6 print x of 1 means it will generate a value 6 from the list x Another methods if you want to retrieve a set of values there are some methods that is first one x of 0 to 3 that is we are accessing values with index 0 to n minus 1 that is the value get accessed is 0 to 2 0 to 2 when we specified 0 to 3 it will gives value 0 to 2 that is 5 6 8 8 is the value with index 2 that is n minus 1 x of 0 then n minus 1 values get accessed please note it note it 
here n minus 1 is get accessed x of 0 to n minus 1 so the values x of 0 x of 1 and x of 2 that is 5 6 8 are getting access not 10 is included within the list next method is x of 2 2 x of 2 to the nth of the list x of 2 means see x of 0 1 to 8 to 12 8 to 12 x of second value is x of 0 is 5 x of 1 is 6 x of 2 is 8 then 8 10 12 at the to the end the elements get printed okay another features are lists are mutable lists are mutable that is mutable means the value of elements of a list can be altered it is one of the important feature it is mutable that means we can change the value of elements of a list for example consider a list is specified as that with the elements 1 2 3 when we print the value it will print 1 2 3 I am changing the first value that is the first index to value that is the value with the 2 2 is changed as 2.5 if I print again it will give values 1 2.53 that is the initial value 2 gets changed to 2.5 so lists are mutable we can change the content of the values specified within a list We are familiarizing with uh, today's content. Today we discussed uh, about the uh, statements, comments, etc. So I am assigning a value to the variable x and going to print it with x. x. A value get printed and next and specifying a comment here using hat symbol it prints prints value of x it's a comment it starts with a hash so its statement which starts with hash does not print in the console window. And next, multiple line statements a is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5. And I'm giving a multi-line statement simple slash and uh, plus four plus eight print a print a it will gives the value 21 we specified the assignment into or statement in two steps or two lines using the forward slash symbol we can replace we can replace the slash symbol with a square brackets square brackets or normal brackets I'm specifying here the brackets here and it gives the same result and uh, next is 
complex types. Uh, we discussed about data types and the three types of data. Number types are there: in integer, float, and uh, complex. I'm mentioning a complex value here is equal to three plus five g, and uh, I'm printing the value print y print y okay that is the value 3 plus 5j gets printed next i am specifying a list here ls equal to ls equal to list square brackets square brackets 1 3.5 and uh, a string type also hi okay i'm printing the same print l okay the value of the list get printed one 3.5 and the third member hi next I'm assigning accessing the value. I'm accessing the value. I'm accessing the value. Okay. Print print x of sorry L of one L of one. Yeah, let's listen. The value 3.5 gets printed. The value 3.5 gets printed. I'm changing it. The content to some more lengthy list. That is 4 and 8 and 2.0. I'm printing the value from 1 to one two then five okay the value gets printed 3.5 high and high four and eight that is the zeroth index value is one first index value is 3.5 so starting from 3.5 and the second index value is high and the fourth index value is sorry third index value is four and the Fourth index to value is 8. 2.0, which is the fifth index to value, didn't get printed because here index values 1 to 5 is mentioned. So 1 to 4 is only get printed. 1 to 4. That is why the result 3.5 high and 4 and 8. 2.0 is excluded. Okay. Let's go to some questions uh, in this session. First one is which one is not a core data type? The mentioned options are list, dictionary, tuples, class. We studied about list, dictionary, sets, tuples, etc. But not mentioned class in Python data type. So the answer is option D. What will be the output of the following code? str is equal to cherish str of particular element to 2. Cherish the first index value that is the zeroth value is C and first index is H. So we know the statement will print from 0 to 1. 0 to first index to value. That is n minus 1. n minus 1. That is the values C and H got printed. The answer is A. What data type is the object below? Below given k, values are 1, 23, high, 3. 
Here the values are mentioned within square brackets and different types of data are also mentioned. So we know it falls under the category list. Answer is option A. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and share for new videos.